Let us see what wonderful wonders await us inside my newly acquired spaceship. Aha! I know what to do with that. Now, if I had been the one designing this game, uh, in the compartments, one of the compartments would have something useful, some sort of cool doohickey to be used somewhere important. Except that's empty. Let's try... I don't want to type compartment. Let me type wall. Oh, oops. Not close the thing that's already closed. Open the thing that's already closed. And then close it after it's open. Ha. Anything? No. And... At the very least, I'd have it so that you need to hide something in one of the compartments at some point. Make them useful, but I don't think they are in this game. Ooh, and a transporter! So many fun, terrible things you can do with a transporter. I would use it because I'm lazy to beam everywhere, including places I shouldn't be beaming into. I just used the door, come on. <laughs> that involves legs. And a Space Quest 3 style, uh... Little doodad display thing. Insert droid. Well, I guess I gotta get myself a droid. Hey, look, it's a droid. Na 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 look, man. <laughs> Let me try that again. Look, droid. Okay, I think this is the one that I want to buy. Or steal? Oh, wait, there's people down here. How did I miss that before? You killed them. You killed them with a sword! How weird is that? Oops, oh, sorry. <clears throat> durr, durr. I'm not going to attempt to voice act this. <clears throat> Tattletale. Duh! It's like the T-1000 version of the Terminator. I can! I had a gun! I just couldn't fire it! And we have some plot. And I have need of a droid. <laughs> um, some lingering semblance of a conversation in the air, perhaps. Oh, I can't go that way. Uh, go back this way. Jump in the pool! No, wait, look at the water. It's made of Pepsi. Bleh! Really terribly mixed Pepsi. There's a droid sale going on! Oh, I'm so excited! I think I'm gonna sell my clothes. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. I don't need the brandy anymore. Probably. Maybe I do. I still like that guy's design. That's just cool to me. Um... Same response. <laughs> okay, fine. Now what? Now we mess with your head and buy a droid from this guy instead. Right, right, right. I think we've been here before. Uh, should be in prying range. Alright. Chugga 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 chugga. I kind of like that thing's animation. Chugga 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 chugga. Okay, back into the side of the spaceship. Um, the door into the spaceship. Yes, and we will sit and we'll figure out where to go. Hadn't actually thought this far. Where we're going. Yeah, my job kind of got attacked, so now what? 
oh, at least it tells you that it's a good time to go for Grub, but when they do the same scenario with you in Space Quest 3, I don't think they really tell you, oh, by the way, you're hungry, you should go to Monolith Burger and get something to eat. At least I'm pretty sure they don't, but it's been a while since I played it. Now, uh, let's scan. Okay, so we can go to Andromeda. Cool. Let's go to Andromeda. Perhaps we will find two guys there who will be most entertaining. Probably not. Yeah. You better. Oh, this is quaint. Pretty. But not where I want to be yet. Let's try the other droid. Actually, let's not take the other droid. Let's uh, take the junk that's in the box here that I forgot to take. Spare parts, just in case the droid breaks down. I can't get out. <laughs> Trapped by the salesman until I buy his wares, but I can't buy his wares until I get over to his wares. He's not mine yet. Yay, now he's mine. Oh, I'm standing in front of its animation. <laughs> hey! Oh boy, it's Krusty the Clown, the droid. Yes, this will be fun. We'll try this droid too. That's probably not how you spell the name of that little alien critter that just ran into the spaceport souvenir shop. Okay, and we're back. Drawer! He's a Model T. Okay, now where are we going? Scan, 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 scan. Yes, grub is good. Scan. Nope, not yet. Yep. <laughs> Class MSG. Fabulous. I don't actually have much to say about this interface. It works. It's functional. And we're here at Monolith Burger, which is totally not McDonald's. It's Monolith Burger, a staple of the Space Quest series. Anytime you need food or a stogie, you can go to Monolith Burger for it. Roughnecks in this part of the galaxy? You can never be too careful when you enter a fast food joint. Always save your game. Alright, Roger's not much of a thief. That guy kind of looks like... I don't know, Bizarro Roger or something. Alright, so I won't get shot if I try and go through the door, because I can't go through the door! Hmm... and... uh... But, I want to buy some food! <laughs> There we go. That's better. Ooh! A nappy meal! Well, I guess when you have no other choice. Yay, ten buckazoids. Seems kind of steep for a nappy meal. Ooh, and a toy surprise inside. Which I will take and then promptly forget about. Blech. We'll find another place to sit. Ah! Okay, now we have a reason to go to Andromeda.
So I think that's insinuating uh, there might actually be story coming up. I mean, more story. Yay! Gold ring that I completely forget about. Okay, so we can stand in front of the table and, and eat and not actually sit down and eat. I could have just gone back to my ship. I could have sat there, smear hamburger all over the desktop. And we're going somewhere else. Where are we going? Roger, where are you taking us? I'm just letting this automated thing do its thing. Aha, we could go back to Labion, and we could go back to the orbital space station. Can't decide whether it's over Xenon or Labion. This would be interesting. Go back in, walk the awful gory corridors. Corridors? No, I'm, I'm totally doing this. I'm going back into the space station and have no ability to get out the the door <sighs> okay fine maybe you won't let me out yeah i guess i could have tried the transporter to andromeda skip all the little cutsceney bit here in the technical parts and just jump ahead you've already seen that do 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 Beam out into the field. No. All right. It's pretty. It's pleasant. Now, the true test of whether this actually truly feels like a Sierra game. When I walk into the street, do I get hit by a car? No, I just sort of walk funny diagonally. Okay, so it only sort of feels like a Sierra game. But that's okay. Up, up, up. Oh no, is it another elevator am I going to get confused about? Oh, one and two. You ask so much of me. Ah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... I'm still not sure if I can trust her yet. I mean, I think maybe, but maybe not. I'll probably save... yeah. <laughs> save this for another time. I'll go somewhere else. No... Okay, Roger's a little chicken, but he's not that chicken. We'll, we'll confront this head-on. Okay, fine. We'll confront you in a verbal way later. Mmm, bed. There's clearly a pillow on the bed. Fine. I think we'll need to scope out her apartment first before we actually uh, take the risk of talking to her. I played too many games that trigger a cutscene when you talk to somebody and then you can't look at anything in the room because you're suddenly in some other cave somewhere or in a prison or fighting a dragon that you were completely unprepared for. No, no, not the cheeseburger, the box. Yeah, it's probably for the best. I kind of like this apartment. It's nice, cozy. Nothing. Oh, apparently there's a wall here. Maybe. Try and go through the door. Oh! <laughs> smacked into the wall next to the door. Try this again. Don't mind me, just scoping out your apartment. I can say for a fact that I was probably not responsible for that. I think that's a challenge. <laughs> okay, fine. Doing it over and over again won't make it happen, Roger. So I can rifle through everything else and the devil's off limits? Is 
Fuchi a latex babe, perhaps? <laughs> You're doing a very good job of peeking, ma'am. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> I like how it's like a sensor bar over her mouth. After you what? Made me explode? That was your virus in the escape pod. Yes. And? But you, you killed me! I exploded! <sighs> yes, we know what that stands for. We found the paper. <sighs> All too easy. <gasps> Dr. Vohal. Yes, this all ties back together to the rest of the Space Quest series. Sludge Vohal, series bad guy. This dialogue could use some music. I can provide some. Oh, well, maybe that's not appropriate. Dun dun dun! You get to beam down and get blown up again! Ooh, boss battle possibility? Ha <laughs> ha, aliens. D yes, yes. You're blue. I accept. <laughs> sure, <laughs> borrow it. That's why I went back to get it. Just for you. Okay, so we have plot, we have this evil cloning plot, and we're going to stop it. At least, I'm going to do her dirty work and stop it. Use button. Roger, you should know how to do this by now. Even if you do it poorly. Okay. And of course she instinctively knows where my ship is parked. Oh, well she does have windows in her apartment. Maybe that would be a way to see where it is. And into the sheep. The, the ship. And let's scan for this thing that's not on any map star chart thing. No, no, no. Yes! Alright. Let's -a go here. I'm gonna turn on my shields, just because it's much safer to travel around with shields in case stuff starts shooting at me or trying to beam onto the ship and take it over. Because, as we know from Star Trek, you can't beam through shields. At least you're not supposed to be able to. Yay, vertical floor, which would be a wall, wouldn't it? All right. Let's save and see what this works. So shields are up. Shields are up. Let's try and beam out. Uh, no, actually, rather walk out the door into space. No, or not. <clears throat> Am I going to beam through the shields? Ah! That's disconcerting. <laughs> Clever. Okay, get rid of some of the useless junk I can't use. Fun. Okay, what have I got left? I guess I do need that brandy. And I guess my little robot shut down the shield before beaming me out. How nice of him. <laughs> that is a cute rock. Let's go for a swim. Maybe something interesting in the pond? Okay. Uh, maybe not anything particularly interesting here. I could always use a plant. I mean, you can really impress the babes with a plant. <laughs> or not. <laughs> okay, anything else of interest down here? Not really. I don't think there's much to do here. So, let's head back up, and let's head over. Anything on the other side? No, nothing on the other side. 
Well, we'll try exploring to the right, but first, that mushroom looks rather conspicuous. Huh. Probably dang- No, oh, don't eat it! Oh, you ate it. Uh, but you're okay. Alright, dumb thing to do, Roger. And you got points for it? I was expecting you to get... eaten. This isn't even the right game!